is one of those videos that I think is a great idea and then I come to do it and I'm like, why? Why do I hate myself this much? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. When it comes to fashion on YouTube, there is a certain group of websites that your typical classic big name fashion YouTubers tend to do a lot of hauls for. And I don't know about you, but I sit and watch those hauls and think that all the clothes are very lovely and the YouTubers all look beyond incredible. They're all so beautiful, like are they even real? But then I swiftly proceed to buy absolutely nothing that they've shown because yes, they look amazing on them, but they're maybe like four clothing sizes smaller than me um, and I can't, I can't relate to to fashion on that body type, like it, it's no use to me. So after a lot of requests from you guys, I am planning on putting all of these websites to the test to see if they're actually any good for us in between size girls. I'm talking 12, 14, 16. I'm gonna be looking at like misguided, boohoo, all the slightly strange ones where you're not sure whether they're gonna rob your entire bank account. But the one that I want to kick things off with is the website that is literally everywhere you go. You probably know which one I'm gonna say prettylittlething.com. Pretty Little Thing has literally taken over this corner of the internet. Um, so I figured that would be a good place to start. The girls who wear this stuff look unbelievably incredible. Like if the Kardashians spawned a new race, it would be the girls who wear these Pretty Little Thing clothes. But I think it's fair to say that the majority of these outfits on Pretty Little Thing, I look at and I just think I couldn't wear that. There is no way if you pay me 10 million pounds. So somewhere in the back of my mind, while I was looking through all of these cycling shorts, crop tops, puffer jackets, craziness, I came up with the amazing idea that I should try these outfits. I should, uh, I should do a little style swap. I've lived and breathed various social media platforms. I survived the MySpace generation. Um, and that means that I've seen a lot of fashion trends come and go online. That's including the emo and the scene days. That's including the kind of phase where like Cascada was a fashion icon. But I think I actually honestly have to say that the kind of vibe that Pretty Little Thing does is maybe the trend that I understand and relate to the least. Honestly, it is so far removed from what I enjoy wearing and feel comfortable wearing that I can't help but be intrigued by it. The girls that I see wearing this kind of style are so confident, so sassy, look so amazing that I can't help but think maybe I could be like that if I wear these outfits too. Maybe if I bring an extra cycling short into my life things could change. So I've picked the five most pretty little thing looking outfits that I could possibly find on the entire website. And today I'm gonna to try them and see whether it actually opens up my mind to a whole new world of styling or whether I will just continue to live in jeans and a t-shirt forever. Basically, it's average girl tries pretty little thing model outfits and I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new and I am gonna get stuck in with trying these clothes. I don't even know if they're gonna fit. There's so much lycra. Right, so first up, as you can see, this is a little look that I like to call ready for the Tour de France. So I am gonna get changed into number one and I will see you downstairs in a second. Oh my God. There is, there's so much happening here. There is so much happening right now. I think I'm wearing this right. Am I? Um, oh no. I actually don't know how to put into words how terrible this makes me feel about myself. Good, this is a good exercise for my self-esteem overall, I think. I actually think I'm supposed to wear the jacket like off the shoulder, but I, I need to see as little of this outfit as possible. Cycling shorts are maybe the most unflattering thing I've ever worn in my entire life. And I don't necessarily believe in the concept of flattering. Uh, I think you should wear whatever you want. Um, but honestly, not to mention the fact you can literally see my knickers through them, which is just a nice bonus, really. Have I put this on upside down? Is this upside down? I have absolutely no idea how this, oh no, because the pocket's up here. So, packet hobnob straight in there. Maybe the most uncomfortable shoes I've ever worn in my entire life. And my toes are literally pushed up against the clear plastic to look like 
a selection of frankfurters in cling film are uh, honestly there are no words to describe how terrible this is honestly this is this is literally terrible i literally never want to see these clothes ever again in my life oh my god next on the list is this look very subtle and subdued I chose this one because uh, I have a bit of a fear of wearing bright clothing so if I'm gonna face my fears I might as well do it properly. As you can see I'm gonna need some sweatpants, tracksuit bottoms, an enormous jumper, a polo neck, some beige heels and some sunglasses. Right let's see what happens. <laughs> what? I am not joking. This is this is the exact same outfit that the model is wearing on the website. This is this is it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? What is happening? <laughs> I I <laughs> I can't. I I actually can't. <laughs> I can't. Oh my god, if this isn't the ultimate um, what you buy online versus when it arrives in real life. This is amazing. This is, this is literally amazing. I'm obsessed with this. Let me just remove my ski goggles so that I can actually... Oh my god, this is too much. Also, I cannot tell you how warm this is. I feel like I'm in an incubator. A bright orange human what's it incubator. I just, I'm gonna quickly look at the model because I don't believe, I don't believe, I, I don't believe. I've got a positive for this outfit. I know you might be struggling to imagine what that possibly is. I like the colour for one thing and I also love a turtle neckline. However, what I can't show you is that this top um, actually ends here and I happen to be wearing a bra that I've had in the back of my drawer for about five years now so I won't be showing you that little treat today. If I'm learning anything from this video it's that next time I look at a pretty little thing model and think oh why can't I look like that I'm just gonna imagine how profusely sweaty she is during that photo shoot and that'll make me feel a lot better. Trousers are just something that I don't... something that I don't know I... I don't know. Who... who is wearing these? In all fairness, they're very comfortable. Um, I would potentially wear them for some gorge walking. The heels are surprisingly comfortable, although I can't do them up because I don't want to rip the trousers. <laughs> they're surprisingly easy to walk in, so turns out I'm all about the sock boot life. Kim Kardashian, I think you're to blame for these. In fact, I think Kim Kardashian, you're to blame for most of this. The fact that I just looked like a human earthworm in that last cycling cohort, I think that's Kanye West's fault. But no one is to blame for this other than myself. I am actually quite tempted by the jumper. This, just with a pair of like normal jeans, if all else fails, I've made an extra on Orange is the New Black. The animal, the animal. The next one on the list is maybe the most pretty little thing outfit I've ever seen in my life. So it is this one. Uh, it features cargo pants, which I think are a thing that is back in fashion, and a puffer jacket, which I am not looking forward to my body temperature reacting to, and also some really terrifying high heels. Let's go! I can't walk in these shoes! I cannot walk in these shoes. I cannot... Oh my god. Is it weird that I definitely don't hate this as much as I hated the other ones? I reckon if I was a different human being, in all honesty, this isn't horrible. I mean, the coat is silly. The coat is very silly. But the pants, I don't hate the pants. And the crop top, I actually think the crop top is quite cute. Heels are beyond life. Like, I cannot walk in these shoes. They're actually hurting my ankle a bit. The feet are literally at an angle that is not far off vertical. In fact, I'm gonna take these off because they're actually a health and safety hazard. Okay, now that I can actually balance on the earth, um, Maybe it was the heels that made this look good, actually, because now I hate it. I think I'm supposed to wear it like this. If um, I was wearing a better bra, <laughs> I should have thought about this. This outfit has actually made me reconsider how I feel about crop tops, because I feel like over a certain size, 99% of us would be like, hell no to a crop top. And any thought of like showing any kind of belly 
is beyond terrifying. I fully understand that. However, this little like bit of belly here, that's not unflattering, is it? This feels like one of those sleep pillows that you wear on the plane. Oh my God, I need to take this off, it is too hot. I also wanted to include a couple of outfits that I thought, yes, these are very pretty little thing, but there is potential there for me to not entirely hate them. So we'll see. Um, this is number four. It is some insane flared trousers, mainly just because I wanted to try a flare. T-shirt, leather jacket, heels. Sorted. I don't hate it. I don't hate this at all. I actually really like this. Is that insane? If I just go right back so you can see, I actually think the flare uh-huh, uh-huh, kind of cool. And it kind of balances me out quite nicely because I'm quite wide here. Maybe a flare is the thing I've been looking for my whole life. I really wish they were a little bit more structured because I feel like they're so thin that A, you can see my knickers through them and B, they just don't like, they don't streamline me quite as well as they could do. But the actual shape of the trousers, I really like. I, I must have gone insane because these are a thumbs up from me. T-shirt on the model was sold out, so I just picked them like best-selling slogan T-shirt. And I like the shape of it. It's got like big baggy man sleeves. I think it's like a men's fit, which I love in a T-shirt. Um, and she's tied it at the waist, which I actually think looks quite cool. I would never think to do that. However, my biggest issue with this entire haul, even more of an issue than the earthworm cycling shorts, more of an issue than the bright orange combination, is this apostrophe. Weekend tease Beverly Hills, but why does this have an apostrophe? So all in all, would I have the balls to wear this out of the house? Maybe if the trousers had slightly more structure. So I am now officially on the hunt for a good quality pair of striped flares, which is not the outcome that I thought this video was gonna have. Okay, thumbs up. Wow, this took a turn. Okay, last but not least, made it to the finale. Probably a bit of an anticlimactic finale to be honest. This was another one that I sort of thought, mm, Classic pretty little thing, but maybe slightly more up my street. Are you joking? How does this, let me just reinsert that picture, translate to this, honestly. I kind of bought this t-shirt dress thing thinking that it would be something that I would wear myself. But honestly, this maybe is the most unflattering thing of the whole bunch. Let me just take this stupid thing off. It looks like a tiny pea head has been inserted on a giant top half of someone's body. Probably like slob around the house in it, but I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be like a night out outfit. And if I wore this on a night out, I would just inevitably get so trashed because I would feel so un... Like, un, like unsexy, like this is not a sexy piece of clothing, is it? But I've got to say, these shoes are the single most comfy high heels I have ever worn in my entire life. I am 100% keeping these. I would like them to be slightly higher. I wonder if they've got any slightly higher ones. Fully recommend if you're looking for like a shoe boot type shoe heel, um, and you're not very good at walking in heels. These are an absolute game changer. I love them. This is exactly the type of thing that I would have worn when I was like 20 and I was under the impression that I had to hide every single inch of my body as much as possible in the baggiest clothing I could possibly find. And I used to wear stuff like this all the time. And now I think about that and it just makes me really sad and I find it a little bit like triggering and just like, I don't know, like look at it. like. Nah, it's a no from me. So what can I even say in conclusion to this experiment? Um, I have a new, utmost newfound respect to girls who wear this kind of stuff because A, it's extremely uncomfortable. Uh, B, it's extremely hot and cloying. But on a real, I also just think it takes a shitload of confidence to wear stuff like this. Um, and I really admire that. I think that's amazing. I think I personally have one too many decades of self-loathing and self-esteem issues to even fathom stepping outside the house in these. I think it's actually proved that the average girl definitely can wear this kind of stuff, providing that she's got the confidence and she wants to rock it. And if she wants to rock it, then hell yeah, she can wear it. But there is no denying that if you have a sense of style that's like mine, it's quite minimal and basic. Um, doing a style swap to stuff like this is beyond hilarious because it's so weird seeing yourself in stuff that you never normally wear. The whole purpose of doing this stupid video was basically to show that 
someone like me, which I think a lot of you guys are, who really, really struggle to push themselves out of their comfort zone when it comes to clothes that sort of hide their body and that you sort of feel like you blend into the background in. Even I, with all my many issues and problems, um, could sort of find things or styles or items that I would never normally have considered that actually look pretty great no matter what size you are. And it does prove that like, whatever size you are and whatever body shape you are, you can wear whatever the bloody hell you want. If you feel confident in it, and you feel like you could run the world in it and you look in the mirror and you think, hey, this looks great, I really like this, then that's amazing. Although, let's be honest, I probably won't be feeling like that anytime soon in brown cycling shorts or orange cargo pants. So that is everything for this video. What a ride. Life is wild. I really hope you enjoyed this one, guys. I've been putting it off for a while because I basically just lived my worst nightmare in front of you all. So I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please do give it a little thumbs up. As always, my favorite part about doing these traumatic things on camera for you is chatting to you in the comments. I think I wanna hear exactly what you think, but also I'm not entirely sure that I do. Were there any of these outfits that you thought I could pull off? Were there any elements that you think were quite good? I need to go and lie down and then swiftly return most of these clothes. Please do hit the subscribe button if you are new and don't forget you can follow me on both Twitter and Instagram at Lucy Jane Wood and I will see you very soon with another video. Goodbye. What even was this, honestly? Goodbye. <laughs>